Suppose that you are typing in numbers into your calculator and you're getting certain numbers appearing on your screen after you hit the equals button. And let's say that you're using the rules of mathematical operations to round those to a certain number of significant figures. What would you write down for each of those answers? So in this box right here, we need to take 75.6 and round it to two significant figures. That's going to be 76. If we continue down this column, we would write 0 0.53, 390,000. This one already has two significant figures, 4,200. And this one to two significant figures would be 8.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. How about this box? If we need to round 75.6 to three significant figures, well, that's easy. It already has three. But suppose we need to report 75.6 to five significant figures. How would we do that? We would add a couple of zeros on the right end. That decimal point means that zeros on the right are significant. What about this quantity to three significant figures? Well, it's going to be point five two eight. How about to five significant figures? Point five two eight three nine. Whoops. We're going to have to round that nine up because the next digit is greater than a five. So to five significant figures, we're going to have 0 0.52840. This next one rounded to three significant figures is 388,000. And to five significant figures, we're going to run into a problem. There is only one way to report this to five significant figures, and that is you have to use scientific notation. Any of these quantities can be reported to the correct number of significant figures using scientific notation, but this one has to have scientific notation in order to report it to the correct number of significant figures. The same thing has to happen right here. 4.20 times 10 to the third has three significant figures, even though the number on our calculator only has two. If we need to round it to three, that's how we need to do it. And there you have the rest of those answers. So whenever you hit your equal sign on the calculator, before you write down your answer, make sure you look again at the quantities that are given and use the mathematical operations rule to determine how many significant figures you need to round to and then round it accordingly.